for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip out the Mad Cheese as always. Got an emergency video for you guys today because a lot of people are already asking about the new Cover 3 patch. So I'm going to go over the patch and I'm also going to go over what changed. I mean, it really seemed to be only aimed at Cover 3. I tried a lot of plays that I've been putting out and luckily most of the plays that I put out recently have had no effect uh, to them with the exception of a few against Cover 3. So I'm going to go over that in today's video. If you guys want to see videos like this every time a patch comes Woo! out or an update addresses gameplay specifically, hit the like button let me know in the comment section let's go and start off with the ravens now the number one formation that really seemed to get patched the heaviest or at least uh the patch seemed geared towards was the gun bunch this has pretty much been meta for years i don't know if it'll still be going forward because they really attacked a lot of the stuff specifically the verticals they specifically mentioned the verticals play and i'll show you guys the setup here real quick where basically all he had to do was put this B route here on a streak and he'd pretty much be gone for a one-play touchdown. Even in the last patch, it didn't really work. But this time, these cover nope. three cornerbacks are doing a much better job of covering deep and not letting routes get behind them. So you can pretty much mark that play off as dead. But there's a lot of plays like the clear out, SE out. I'm not really sure if that still works yet. I don't have the abilities needed to use the, the meta setup. But what I will show you guys is a very easy one-play touchdown that you can do in just about any gun bunch from any playbook. And I'm going to use the corner strike to show that. All we're going to do is put this RB route here on a streak. This was the setup pre-patch. I'd put him on a streak. I'd motion this guy out. That would create enough space typically uh, for the one-play touchdown, which is the RB route. Now the safeties, I find that they play a little better over. I mean, you still have that seam, but it's not a one-play touchdown like I want it to be anymore. I had to throw that prematurely. Now I find that something you can do at a gun bunch that you should have success in just about any gun bunch play. I mean, it really doesn't matter because you can create this from... Um, you know, from basically your adjustments. It's just put the RB route in a fade, put the B route in an out route and a smart route about 10 yards. That's all you really have to do. The A route, you just put him on a flat. I mean, he's already on something like that. But this type of setup will pretty much have um, the exact same results. I mean, you can basically, you know, do it something like this, just as long as you have a fade, a flat, and a and a out route of 10 yards you're gonna have success i mean you have to run from a hash mark once again as well but ultimately this is going to be one of the better uh setups that you can use in pretty much any gun bunch might not work as well in weekend league because obviously this might be better cornerbacks it might be a better matchup uh, when it comes to cornerbacks and receivers but um it's something that you can uh, you can do from pretty much any gun bunch play because you're basically creating with just your adjustments i find a much better play and this is from the gameplay that i just put out today uh, one of the best cover through and play touchdowns to me is still the double slant. They did not address this at all. I'll go ahead and I'll pick this. And then on the defensive side, once again, cover three. This play here, I mean, this is one of my favorite cover three one play touchdowns already. I was so happy they didn't fix it. All you have to do is motion this guy out. This is something that uh, basically spreading the defense is going to be huge when it comes to cover three because that safety is going to do a much better job, but he can't do a good enough job. I think it's best to put all the other receivers on fades but you can leave the slants and still have success. But the B route here is still the read. As you can see, seconds after the play starts, he is wide open up the seam. Now you have to get a catch and run. That's about the only thing. I didn't get much of one there. But you'll find that, I mean, this is an instant play. I can throw this pretty immediately, although I motioned the wrong guy out here. Let's go and let's motion the running back back. I do that from time to time, motion the wrong guy out. But like I said, it's an instant play. I find that at the very least, put the Y around the streak because I got, I got to hold that safety a little bit. As you can see right here, like I said, it's an instant play. Just got to get a good catch and run. You can see as long as you have an elite speed guy, you're going to be gone from just about anywhere on the field if you get that ball out quick enough. It's an instant play. The cornerback doesn't react. That's one of the things about this play. It was like that before the patch and it's still like that now where the cornerback plays down. I don't know why they don't react at all, but you can see, I mean, pretty much 10 yards through the route. It's like they don't need, they're, they're really confused. Like these guys don't know what they're doing out here. It, it crosses them up and you basically just have the bullet and pass lead at about a 10 yard depth. Uh, and you're getting the ball out instant for a very big play. So now I'm in the Saints playbook. I will have links in the description for the full breakdowns of all these offenses, by the way, if I had mentioned that. So if you're seeing this now, these are all reflecting on previous videos that I put out. But uh, the wing stack, this is still one of my favorites. We're going to go with the PA fork. I was absolutely shocked when they didn't patch this play. It still works the same way against every defense as in the original video. So like I said, check that out in the description below if you didn't catch that. But basically just streak the B route. That's all you got to do. And this X route here, I mean, I'm going to roll out because, you know, rolling out definitely helps when it comes to keeping quarterback down. But you're going to see here, once again, this guy here just bombs up over the top of cover three the exact same way uh, prior to the patch. Like I said, these cover three cornerbacks, they do a much better job of covering their area. 
but it's still a game of spacing. And you can see right there, wow, I just totally dipped on, on Josh or uh, on uh, Montez Sweat. You can see, boom, we're just we're just lighting this scoreboard up the exact same way against one of the better defenses in the game. So you can see, same play works uh, against Cover Three, and it works against all the defenses. They didn't pass this play at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. I showed you guys a couple of my favorite plays. I'll be sure to have more in the future. The Gun Bunch one you guys can use in just about any playbook in the game. If you guys want to see more videos like this, though, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.